What is going on guys? So today I'm gonna be redoing my valve cover. I did say that I was gonna send it out to get it done by somebody else. But I decided just to give it a shot, do it myself, save some money, and try to get it done before Eibach. Even though I'm not really gonna show my engine bay or pop my hood or anything. But I'm gonna be using this VHT wrinkle paint and it's gonna be red. I had to order it so I don't have it with me right now. But what I'm gonna do is strip it out real quick. And that is with this aircraft paint remover and two paint brushes to lay this on. Wear gloves because this thing does cause a lot of uh, was it irritation on your skin. Then nobody wants that. What you mainly have to do, of course, is take off the spark plugs, the cap, and my end lines, and then pop the cover off, take off the gas seals, and then start laying it on and strip out all the paint. And I don't have a brush with me right now, so hopefully this is enough to get into the creases and stuff and I don't have to like dig it out unless I'll just use a flathead, but make sure you don't dig it into the valve cover because if you do, it don't leave uh, scratch marks and stuff, even though I don't think it will really matter because wrinkle paint will expand up and it'll cover the deep scratches or scratches that you're doing or tripping. Yep. But I'm gonna take off the valve cover real quick and then lay it on some cardboard and then start applying it and then let it in a peel and then I think my paint comes in around 4 o'clock that's what the guys said at 4 or 5 o'clock so I'm gonna go pick it up and then spray on to the valve cover. And also a huge shout out to Kevin off uh, Instagram and one of my subscribers he hit me up after saying that I needed a valve cover so thank you and this one is already shaved and doesn't have the logos on it it doesn't look that bad I might get this redone and well I'll probably send both out but I'm gonna just do this and see how it goes in wrinkle red Valve cover is off. You guys didn't know? You guys haven't been following for that long. Those are uh, SuperTech valve swings, retainers, uh, Buddy Club Spec 3 cams, and Toda cam, cam, Toda cam gears. But uh, yeah, so that's off. Now I'm just going to close the hood so nothing gets on top. And then I got the valve cover over here. And we're going to start stripping it. But before I do that, you got to take off the tube seals. Make sure to take this off and then take off the gasket. And after that, uh, it'd be straight, but wow, look how clean that is. God damn. All right, but I'm oh, gonna take off your oil cap and the plug. After I uh, paint strip it, I'm gonna give it a good wash. Just a heads up, this shit does smell fucking strong. I would recommend using a mask. Normally, what I would do is pour into a cup, but this bottle is like 10 bucks, so don't be scared to like. Use a lot. You want to use a lot so it comes off faster. Let me show you guys. It already started bubbling and peeling. I'm just gonna finish doing all this and then uh, it should. Oh wow, it just peels right off. But I'm gonna finish doing the whole valve cover and then I'll show you guys the end result or where I get it to. Check this out. Check out the satisfaction. It just comes right off. There's some spots that I gotta scrub. Just keep applying, but uh, I'm gonna go rinse this off real quick and then apply another coat. But it's literally coming off. Holy crap, that's crazy. Should have done this a long time ago. So, this is what it looks like after I rinsed it down with my hose. There's still a little spots there, here and there, but it's a lot easier now. Or just do all the small spots really easy. They still peel off if you pull by hand, but I'm gonna just apply more aircraft remover and then get it all off and that that uh, tape it all up and prep it up for paint. I'm gonna tape up the spark plug holes. Um, I'll probably just tape these up too. Yeah, and tape up the fittings. Uh, and then after that, once I spray, because I'm doing red, I'm gonna sand down the dock. VTEC, the H emblem, and the Hondas. I decided to go with the red because I mean the motor is a type R motor, so might as well do red. So I'm doing spoon yellow, but whatever, we'll see what happens. But all right, time to finish it off. Here's the final product after stripping it three times. There's still little black things here and there, but I'm gonna take that off or maybe just leave it because it's not even that bad. Uh, there's like little black things here, but overall, I already sprayed it down with. Um, my air compressor got all the water off and I, I cleaned it with alcohol. The reason why I use alcohol is because it's a good cleaner and also it dissolves, it evaporates. Now it's all ready for paint, but I still have to wait for O'Reilly's to get my paint. They said around 4.45 and it's only 3.30 right now. So I'm just gonna uh, tape it off and then I guess just wait while I watch some YouTube videos. So yeah, but uh, I kind of like it just all silver. I should just leave it like that. Nah, we'll just paint it red, show you guys. 
it is 4.15 right now. I'm waiting for another 30 minutes and then I can give O'Reilly's a call and see if my VHT wrinkle red paint came in. But right now I'm just taping up the valve cover. And uh, what I, how I did these ones was I put the tape on, I applied pressure and it made a circle and then I cut it out with the blade. These, just tape it, that just tape it, stamp the oil cap, you know where the oil cap goes. These ones are here, you could use a quarter. It is the same exact size as a quarter, so you lay the quarter on the tape, cut around it, just like that, and then peel off the quarter and place it in right there. So I'm just, I just gotta do three more, and then hopefully the paint comes in by then. But yep, that's what I'm just doing right now. Just came back from O'Reilly's, and this is what I'm using: VHT Wrinkle Plus in red. I have the valve cover right here. I read up online, the correct way to do this is first coat is horizontal, second coat is hor- wait, hold on, first coat is horizontal, second coat is vertical, and the last coat is like diagonal. So I'm going to try to follow that, and hopefully it comes out good, and then after that I'm going to uh, use a heat gun and dry it all down so I can put it back in my car and just let it sit. So that's the first coat. This thing is easy to lay on. It uh, sprays so evenly and make sure you don't get any runs or that the runs could ruin the wrinkle finish. So I'm going to let this dry for 10 minutes and then we're going to move over to doing vertical. Not that horrible uh, diagonal and then he gun it. 10 minutes has passed. Now to do horizontal and make sure you fill in all the stuff that you missed or try to cover more and after that we're going to go diagonal. Second coat's on, apply it a little more wetter. The only issue I have right now is that, but uh, fuck it, whatever. I get it redone later on, but hopefully the wrinkle comes out good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So dog, I have to do the last coat, which is diagonal. That's what I read up online. I think it's so you can make the wrinkle finish a lot better and smoother. I have, I think, two minutes until I can spray the last coat, and then after that, um, I'm gonna bring it inside the garage, and then I'm gonna use the heat gun on it and try to bring out the wrinkles in it. Since I don't wanna, oh, this time, since I don't wanna, what's it called? Put it in my oven and make the house smell like paint. All right, uh, painting now. And I'm gonna try to fix that somehow. The last coat did horizontally, and then you can slightly see like little wrinkles in it. We can't, I don't think you can see it in the, or oh, that's a straight up orange peel. I'm gonna use the Higo now and then let's go, you know, just, just pretty much make a job with Higo. And everybody knows how to do that, so I'll show you guys the finished results. But wow, gloss red looks nice. And after that, oh, I need to sand down the, uh, what was it, Doc Vitek, the H badge, and the Honda, so. I would say I am roughly 10 minutes in using the heat gun. You just have to take your time, be patient about it, and make sure you don't heat up a one spot too long, because if you heat up one spot too long, the wrinkles will be more wrinkly, wrinklier, I don't know if that's even a word, than the rest. So you guys can already see, she got that wrinkle. Amazing, this is literally my first time using wrinkle paint, and. <laughs> I am happy with the results, no fucking like lie. Wow, I just have to sand off the Honda and the H and then ugh, it'll look like the Type R, well I'm not saying it's, it's, it's better just paint red, so. But, yep, just gotta finish it off and then goes back on the car. Shit. Pretty much the finished product, just gotta take off the tape. And I'm not gonna sand this down yet until, um, what is it? Until it's fully dry, because it is a. I mean, I could touch it, but it feels a bit wet. So I'm just gonna heat it a little more and then make sure it's dry, because I think people say leave this for 24 hours, but I might um, heat it up like for another like 30, 40 minutes and then throw it on the car and leave it there overnight. 
because I don't have, have a cover on my car right now and it'll be ready by tomorrow morning for uh, when I go to work. But check out that wrinkle finish. Wow, I'm amazed. I'm gonna start <laughs> using this paint more often on like a lot more shit, but uh, I might do it on this valve cover. I might do an actual design on this one. Might do like a jack delivery on my car or on my valve cover. It'd be was it green, orange, or red with blue stripes. That'd be pretty sick. Oh, I'm gonna do that. Maybe, but yeah, that's the that's pretty much. I say almost a finished product, but still got a heat on this side because this side's a. I didn't finish it yet. That's why like some spots aren't popping up yet. So I need to heat gun that. And then also when I oversprayed over here, when the wrinkle when it came out, it covered up the, the fucked up spot. So, but wow, that looks really fucking nice. Ooh, took off some of the tape. Looking more like a real valve cover now. And as time goes on, the wrinkle shows up a lot better. It's it looks better in person than the camera. It literally looks like a Type R uh, valve cover. Because uh, the Type R valve covers, they have like a special wrinkle. It's not like hella aggressive. It's just like a bit smooth. There are some spots where it's, it's a little higher than another, but... Yeah, it looks really nice. I mean, I can't complain for 20 bucks. Uh, paint was 10 bucks. The paint store was 10 bucks or 12 bucks. And then, yeah, that's it. The tape already had. Wow, can't wait to put this on the car. Might do it in a little bit. After I heat it up some more, then I gotta take off that tape and that tape. But yep, that is the end result. And I'll show you guys later on when it's on the car, but that's what it looks like. That is how you wrinkle paint your valve cover. Hopefully that made any sense. And if it's, yeah, but it's really easy. Like, comment, subscribe, this like up to you guys. Stay tuned for the next video. And like I said, I'm going to be at iBox, so. See whoever's out there. I about to come say what's up. Peace out.